Uh, I'm Shobo Tahir al Talibani uh, from Iraq. Nobody expected such a kind of, such a huge attack. Uh, it was the, the most direct, unbearable, savage message that we are a target, a real target. We had some accidents before, but not to that limit. I have to, to, to remind you that we lost 22 and we had 100, more than 180 injured, half of them severely injured, plus hundreds of other colleagues, including myself, keeping this trauma with them forever. We were working from eight o'clock till seven at night, and then going back to the same hotel. So meaning that 24 hours over 24 and, and, and seven days a week, we were with each other. Uh, it was a kind of uh, family life. So it is, it's like, the feeling is like losing part of us. It's very hard to, uh, to think about moments when you were just a few minutes before uh, talking to, to this person. One of them who lost, for example, he was just showing me his very newborn baby two weeks and, 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 and just, just 15 minutes before the attack. I'm Ahmed Fauzi. I uh, was director of information and uh, spokesman for Sergio Vera de Mello and UNAMI in 2003. And my recollection is that we were all very enthusiastic and motivated to help the Iraqi people rebuild their their country after the invasion of 2003. When I, when I heard about the bomb, I was in London and uh, it was heart-wrenching, of course, to, to learn after a few hours that we had lost 22 of our colleagues, including Sergio, Viera de Mello, Nadia Yunis, who was also a very close, dear friend, um, Fiona Watson, um, Rick Hooper, amazing, amazing civil servants who dedicated their lives to the ideals of the United Nations and to peace. So um, the message on the 15th anniversary is that we will never forget those who paid the ultimate price. And, and in order to respect their memory, we will continue their work. We will not te let terrorists dictate our lives. That's what Kofi Annan said at the time he was the Secretary General. We must change the way we do things back then, 15 years ago. So we have to reassess every year because since 2003, we have lost more and more people to terrorism. In 2017 alone, 138 peacekeepers and 139 civilians were brutally taken away by terrorists. My name is Saad Al-Asali. I am one of the survivors of the tragic day in Baghdad in 2003. I'm here today to pay tribute uh, to um, our friends who fell a vic uh, victim of um, the um, inhuman at attack in, in Baghdad. That moment was, you know, um, very dark. Um, and I remember when it was very cold, very dark, um, and change all the life of uh, my, 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 my friends, my colleagues, and myself, of course, my family, all my beloved people. I wasn't thinking of, you know, t to be in safe before uh, August 2003, but after that, I was thinking of the only thing that in my life, my, 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 my main target was to be in safe with my family. I can't forget about other people, my friends, my even not with the, I'm not talking about even the UN. I'm talking about other people and the Iraqi people. It's really um, it's very hard when you when you when you receive the news from Iraq. Till this moment, people are suffering. Really, they are suffering. 